In this demonstration, I will be looking at the OTC Encore scanner. Uh, we will be using an Acura TSX. I have already connected to the DLC under the dash and turned the ignition to the on position. I'm gonna press the power button one time. If the scan tool needs charged, you may see this message. This is an Android based system with a touch screen. Please wait for the system to load. In this particular section, we can select generic OBD or we can select a vehicle specific. I'm going to go into generic OBD. Generic OBD is going to limit us to what things we can and can't do with the car, but most times you will be using generic for engine diagnostics and data. Be sure to pay attention if you're asked to use generic or vehicle specific, manufacturer specific, as your options will be different. Now I have some options on the left. My readiness modes or my monitors will tell me whether they've run or not, or if they're even supported. I have a data mode where it will give me the live data PIDs from the car or the parameter IDs. Keep in mind, sometimes these take a second as they're loading quite a bit of data. These cars can have upwards of 100 data PIDs at any one point in time for any system. And we've loaded our data. And we can see vehicle speed, mass airflow, uh, percentages, degrees in Fahrenheit, miles per hour, uh, a lot of data here. So we're gonna go ahead down here at the bottom left and hit the back button on the screen. I can go to freeze frame for the DTCs. I can click the DTCs tab and we can scan this vehicle to see what current pending or history codes are available. So this particular scan tool breaks it down into sections. So current, pending, permanent, and if there were some histories, there may be that tablet or a tab also. But pay attention when asked what current DTCs or pending DTCs you may have. I'm going to exit out. I'm going to hit the home button. And this time we're going to go into vehicle specific. It asks me to auto identify the car or manual selection. You also have a recent vehicles tab. If this was your own scan tool and you used it on a regular basis, you may be able to uh, quickly identify vehicles that you've already worked on. So I'm gonna go auto ID and it should find the VIN number. Acura TSX 2013. So it automatically figured out this vehicle. If in the instance it does not find the VIN, you may have to build the vehicle on your own. Keep in mind that may indicate a communication problem with the car. So I'm gonna say, yes, I like that vehicle. Now I have a number of different tabs that I didn't see in the previous screen. I can read DTCs from one particular system or I can read all systems at once and do a full system check. Uh, this particular mode allows me to go into specific systems uh, above and beyond engine like body, brakes, airbags, uh, and many more systems other than that. We can also do some special testing, reprogramming, and or bi-directional controls. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of here, return to main menu. I'm gonna hit the home button again. And if I'm finished with this particular scan tool, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna press and hold the power off button. 
And that is how we use the Encore from the OTC.